Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and today I'm going to be showing you the complete question mark archetype. That's right, this took a while to make, so hopefully you guys do end up enjoying it. And here we go. So, the first card we have is a rare stage 4 item copier, the card, the item card that started it all. Its effect is this card's effect becomes the same as one item card in your discard pile. And the very first card we have is question mark knight. So, I had a contest in the last video, if you guys didn't see, it was a couple videos ago now where I asked for the ability for the question mark archetype and the winner is Worlds of Magic TCG so shout out to him the last time I shouted someone out no one subscribed to the channel so go check out his channel and subscribe it would mean the world to me so he, his suggestion was that the ability should be, should be something about when he summoned because it confuses the other creatures you can choose a card that cannot attack next turn which I thought was a genius idea it was different than the others and that's why I ended up picking it but thanks for everyone who gave submissions all of them were really amazing and yeah so question mark knight's ability her ability is to stage one common 200 power and 200 defense and when they're summoned if there's a question mark card in the field you can choose one creature and it cannot attack next turn so they rely on being with each other because they're an archetype i thought the cards should rely on each other in order to work so that's kind of the theme i went for for the cards and if you notice they'll all have the general same color scale like the gold and the gray shades Next up, we have Question Mark Archer. He's a stage one common with 300 power and 100 defense. As effect reads, when summoned, if there's a Question Mark card in the field, you can choose one card and it cannot attack next turn. I just drew him last night, and if you notice what I did for the background, it was really exciting. I actually made the background look like it was following the arrow. So it's like generally coming from the direction of the arrow. And it just emphasizes that he's shooting the arrow. And this part, the time the question mark isn't floating, it's actually built into the weapon. So that's something that you'll see in the newer cards that I make for the question mark archetype. Because I made three last night, and I made sure that all the question marks were built in, which I thought made it a lot more interesting. And yeah, if you know something different, I actually drew, the, I drew items on the bandolier, kind of like Chewbacca-like for the bandolier so I was thinking of because I thought he has a sash he actually has stuff on it so I decided to add stuff and I think just a little added detail made it look a lot better. Next up we have Box Beast a stage 2 rare card or it's a question mark box beast the very first um, question mark card I made when I mean, besides the item card but I wasn't even thinking about the archetype when I made the item card so box beast is a rare card part of the question mark archetype a stage 2 300 power and 400 defense and just like all the others is effect read when this card summoned if there's a question mark card on the field you can choose one creature and it can't attack next turn so you guys already saw these three right here from the booster um pack unboxing that i did which i haven't checked it out make sure to check it out and before i show the others i would really appreciate it if you watching the video right now like the video the videos haven't been getting as many likes as usual because i stopped asking for them that might be why i don't know for sure but let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video and if this video gets 50 likes i'll make more cards for the question mark archetype because usually after i make these archetype videos i completely abandon the archetype but if this video gets 50 likes, I'll continue working on it and new cards also. So, yeah. Next up, we have question mark golem. So, so far we have the an item card, the two stage ones, a stage two. And for the stage three, we have question mark golem. A stage three common with 400 power and 500 defense. And the same effect as the others. When you summon, if there's a question mark card in the field, you can choose one card and it cannot attack next turn. So, again, uh, oh, I put card instead of creature. That was a mistake, but it's okay. Oh yeah, I put card for some of them and creature for others. Well, that's okay. Anyways, I had a lot of fun drawing this artwork because I don't usually make the blocky golem-like characters. So when I drew the muscles, I really emphasized the way it looked. So I really made it look like almost like there's two boulders on his shoulder. And I think it made it look a whole lot more interesting. And I drew the question marks floating because, I don't know, I just I did that for a couple where it's floating. And then later on, I'll do it where it's embedded like as a weapon, like the archer. So... Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, when I originally drew this card, it was actually going to be a dragon. So you can imagine horns here. There's originally dragon horns, and this was a dragon mouth. I was trying to make a three-dimensional mouth, like, open, like we're looking at it from a front view. And when I looked at it, I thought it would look cool. It was like a metal jar, like a mask. Almost looks like, a, you know, the front, like the plow of a train. I don't know if you guys ever, when I was a kid, I used to watch Thomas, and the, they had, like, snow plows on attached to the train that's what i was thinking of when i drew the mouth so yeah and i just slapped some suspenders on right there and we have question mark golem next the next card we have is a pretty cool one this card took a while to make we have question mark prince this is my person one of my favorite cards for the question mark archetype one of my personal favorites it's a really good ability so question mark prince is a stage one rare card. And he doesn't have the same effect as the others. Well, besides that one, the item card's different, but um, he doesn't have the same effect as the others, which is why he's interesting. 
Question mark Prince is a stage one rare with 100 power and 100 defense. He has stats of Henry, but he's not as weak as Henry because Henry has to remain the weakest card in the game. If you don't know, if you remember what Henry is, then you know it's a throwback card all the way back from like what when I was 12 or 13. I made I made it when I was really young. So yeah, I'm 17 now by the way. So I made it a while ago. But I always think of Henry whenever I think of the weakest card in the game because I made Henry because Chaos Galaxy had a was it Sludge? I forgot what it was called. Or um, slush, slush. So I thought I should make the weakest, a weakest card in my game, and I thought wouldn't it be funny if it was just an ordinary guy. So that's how I ended up making Henry. Anyways, enough of the side story. Question mark Prince a stage one where one pound hundred defense and effect reads when he summoned. If there's a question mark card on the field, you can discard this card to summon question mark queen from your deck, and it's treated as a stage one, which is crazy overpowered. Okay, question mark queen is a stage four. She's the boss of all the question mark cards. So the ace, stage four ultra rare for the question mark archetype. Every single archetype always has a stage 4 ultra rare, and for the question mark one, it's question mark queen. So question mark prince's ability just basically allows you to summon question mark queen, but it's treated as a stage 1, which will make it really overpowered and a really good ability if you can pull the combo off. So again, keeping with the same thing, there has to be a question mark card on your field to activate it, which is why I'm thinking of maybe making more question mark cards in the future, but I'll see what happens. Okay, a quick jump cut right there. Sorry that was abrupt. My dog started barking, but we're back. We're continuing. Anyways, we have question mark Prince. I already said his ability, but I didn't get to talk about his artwork yet. So once again, I did the same theme I did with the archer with the colors in the background being angled like where they're pointing. So my idea for his card was is he's running away this way, but he's still leading his people. So, you know, like he's commanding them or he's running that way then like taunting the enemy. But either way, he's a prince and I really like the way his artwork came out. It almost looks like a, a hair clip in his crown. Like, have you guys seen like they put like berries or flowers in the hair? It almost looks like that, but it's like a tiny little prince crown with a question mark on it so that's where his question mark is because all of them have to have a question mark on it but his isn't yellow his is gold because you know it's like royalty i guess that's what i was going for and his outfit right, this jacket thing with like the little collar or whatever and the buttons and then he has this like cape on him right there looking pretty cool i really like his expression it turned out really nice i might make an animation for him that might be fun i'll see what happens and yeah it's question mark prince and then the boss card, we have question mark queen. A stage 4 ultra rare, she has 300 power and 500 events. A little bit, not the strongest stats for an ultra rare, but her effect is overpowered, which is why I had to make her stats not crazy OP. First off, let's talk about the effects. A stage 4 ultra rare, metal type like all of them. Her effect is when summoned by the effect of a of question mark prince, your opponent cannot play any cards or attack next turn. So if you summon her by discarding question mark prince, then her ability activates, which is crazy overpowered. So you definitely want multiple question mark princes in your deck. We're gonna have two copies of each card, but question mark prince will, will be a staple. So a question mark queen has a crazy strong ability because they can still draw a card and use any effects they have, but they cannot play any cards or attack. So they can only use what they already have on the field, which is an overpowered ability. And that's why I didn't make her too strong, but it's still completely crazy. And again, going with the ability of confusing your opponent, like uh, World of Magic TCG suggested. So she confuses the enemy and that's what makes it not be able to attack. So I thought for the boss card, there should be so many question marks on her. So there's one on the crown, three on the little orb staff thingy, and then one on a necklace. I was gonna put two on, but then I thought diamonds would look better, so yeah. So first off, I drew this cool queen's crown and gray hair and gray eyes, just like the prince or her son. And there, and there's like this battle armor and this cool cloak right here that's held together by this little string. Turned out really nice looking. And I drew the wrinkles on the cape, obviously. It looks a lot cooler with that on. And then she has this staff right here that's pure yellow. So, like, the bow almost. Or, you know, using the same color schemes that I have. And without these two little lines coming down from the eye, she didn't look evil enough. Those two lines really sold the evilness. I don't know why. I don't know how I got the idea for it. But I just thought, you know what? What would scream evil? And then my pen slipped. And I thought, hey... That looks pretty good. So I ended up including it on the artwork for the card, and that's how we ended up with Question Mark Queen. So this is the entire Question Mark archetype. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes once again. Oh my god, my car's slipping. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes once again. If you guys did end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye, guys.